fastest you've ever run the 40 in? 03. Okay. Yes, sir. What do you think you are today if, if they time is out here behind us? I won't run it. Yeah. <laughs> I won't run it. I'm fast, man. That's what I know. Do you feel like you're going to be in a good, good position to peak uh, you know, for September the 8th to start the season? Yeah. Um, like I said, I've, I've did plenty of seasons in the NFL now. I got a pretty good idea, especially coming off last year, of coming in just in amazing shape and having a great super camp. And uh, the season didn't go exactly how I wanted, but now I got a pretty good idea how to, you know, get myself to the games, get myself to the, you know, play the best of, you know, Calvin Ridley's ability. And I'm working my ass off, so I mean, I better go do out there and do what I do. You had kind of hinted a few times how excited you were for this offense. And yeah. What it could possibly be like. Now that you've had pads on a few days, you're making plays today. Yeah. Have you now seen what this offense can be? Man, the first day we were out here fighting, everybody thought we were, you know, man. You know, I've seen a lot of good stuff in that practice, and I've been seeing a lot of good stuff. So I'm excited about this team, period, and, uh, you know, the guys that we have. And, uh, you know, people don't expect us to be, you know, good, and I, and I like that. I mean, you know, we got all the time to focus, to, you know, on ourselves. You know, they're talking about all these other teams, and then when we come, you know, we got the chance to show what we're about. So I'm all for that. How much do you emphasize that, like, off that first day where, you know, Pop up, but there is good work being yeah, I mean, they seen us fighting out here, but man, you, they we're only fighting because we're getting after each other. I mean, we some dogs out here, man. That's, I mean, that's what you're gonna get. I mean, if you don't get that, I mean, they're not working hard. If the teams are not doing it, they're not working hard. These guys are, you got Jeffrey Simmons, man. He's a animal. He's gonna come bull rush anybody. He's gonna beat pretty much anybody. So, you know. They're getting after it. I like that. I think that makes us better. And then when we get back in the locker room, we'll figure out how to, you know, calm everybody down. And because this is our team, we'll we'll calm everybody down in the locker room. But on that field, I mean, we don't want to fight, obviously. But that, you know, you haven't seen that again, because we calmed it down there. Like we figured it out. Now, you know, we're working. We get we get working to get better. So I like that stuff. Calvin, I apologize if you already mentioned this, but with Dean Hop out several weeks, how important is it for others in that wide receiver room to step up? Yeah, I mean, you know. We just, you know, we ain't got that much time together, but those guys in that room are hungry, man. They want to be the best, you know, so, and, and they, you know, they look up to D-Hop, so we know D-Hop will be back anytime soon, so uh, we got a bunch of guys that's ready to go. Obviously, they come out here and work and show that, but, uh, nah, we don't have no doubt in nobody. In particular, Traylon, uh, a lot's been talked about his role, but now his role goes bigger right now. Yeah, I'm like, Is this a great opportunity for yeah, him? Yeah, Traylon is a, man, look at this dude, man. Dude's amazing, man. I mean... I don't have no worries about it. We're gonna. I'm gonna make sure he works. I'm gonna work. So I have no. I mean, he's gonna be work ready. You know. Do you guys say anything to him? Because obviously the talent and the upside is there. But through two years, he's gone through a lot of adversity. Do you? Do you try to pump him up to make? I mean, I don't. Him? You know, I wasn't here, and all I know is what y'all. I guess what you just said. I wasn't here. I don't have to pump a grown man, you know, especially that dude. That dude is ready to come in and, and prove to whoever he has to prove. But, no, I'm just here to I mean, encourage every person. It doesn't matter if it's a long snapper. I'm going to encourage the long snapper. I don't care who it is, the, 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 the people in the training room. I'm going to encourage them. Put on some music so you can tape better in here or something. You know what I'm saying? So that's my, that's my boy. We work together. That's my brother. And I'm going to encourage him to get better, and I hope he, you know, he's going to do great thing. So I'm not worried because we're putting in the work. And when you put in the work, it should show up. But we working. How about that? That's all I know. We working right now. Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, yes. Um, uh, there's, I mean, I don't have no stress. I'm, I'm just a little kid out here now again, just playing football. So uh, God, you know, he makes uh, great decisions, the best decisions. And, uh, you know, I just, stay down the line in the path that he's provided for me and just keep doing what I'm doing. Coach Callahan mentioned how great opportunity this is for the wide receivers, especially you. He said he was pleased with how much you progressed this camp. Where do you feel yourself separating yourself maybe from years past? Um, just being me. Um, just going out there, not listening to the outside noise, just honing in on all the details um, and making sure that, you know, I'm communicating with Will, no matter who the quarterback is. Um, also with TB and Red, Hop, Nick, all the guys in the room, we always just make sure that we make a connection with each other before we come out and practice, just so we know that we're all on the same page with everybody. So you've done more kind of cross-training this year than you have in the past? In terms what of do you mean by cross-training? The different positions of wide receiver. Uh, yes, um, you know, I had to, in OTAs, I had to learn every position. So that helped a lot just being able to know when I'm going in the huddle I just don't have to think about you know 
what route that I have if I'm at F or Z. I would just know once Will or Malik or Mason call to play that, you know, I know the full concept of everything. So if anybody needs help, you know, I can help them out. Jordan, how would you describe some of these battles we've seen in seven on seven and the way you guys in the defense are challenging? Um, it's fun, man. Um, you can tell it's a, you know, different feeling out here. We're, we go against each other every day and we compete. And um, it's not going to do anything but get each other better and ready for, you know, games. Traylon, new staff, new offense, new role expected for you this mm -hmm. year. It feels like a fresh start. Do you feel that? And do you embrace the chance to move on from some of the adversity you've um, had to go through the first two years? I mean, yes, no. Uh, I just, you know, I just treat it as uh, it's a new opportunity um, just to go be myself, get my feet up under me, be healthy, and just go have fun. So. And what do you think yourself is as an NFL wide receiver at um, this point? Traylon Burks. I mean, that's the only answer I got for you. And, you know, we'll find that out come season. So, and then you, you mentioned, like, just feeling like yourself now, not listening to the outside noise. What are maybe some of the <laughs> habits that you embrace to help you kind of keep your mind with that? Honestly, just being to myself, my family, um, and studying, honing, on, honing in on details making sure that I'm in shape, knowing the plays, um, just all the little things that goes into it to make sure that I'm prepared. Um, I just, I remember my leg being caught under somebody's body weight and thought I could get it out in time and then it didn't and I heard it pop. What are you seeing from the offense now that training camp's going around and you know, with implementing your stuff? What are you seeing from the offense so far and how you're um, just seeing growth every day, you know, um, all around in the O-line, QBs, the receiving core, the running backs, just, just everybody getting better together, getting used to working together, meshing together better, and, um, you know, things are starting to come along. With DeAndre Hopkins coming out and, you know, maybe the running backs may step up a little bit, with you and Tajay, what can we see from you as training camp and preseason's coming up next weekend? Um, I mean, just expecting to make plays all over the field, um, in the backfield, um, out of the backfield, catching passes in the slot, out wide, um, you name it. You know, just, just being versatile, being able to be used in different areas. What type of feel have you gotten from how you and Tajay are going to be used together and then splitting up? To um, it's definitely going to be a, a great one-two punch, um, you know, keeping, a, keeping us fresh throughout the whole game and the season and, you know, just keeping defenses on their toes, you know, not knowing which player is going to get in and, you know, which, which style to prepare for. Um, yeah, pretty much for us, you know, just rotating in and out. Being a Memphis kid and now playing in Nissan Stadium probably for the first time next Saturday, what are your thoughts going into playing in Nissan? Um, I mean, it means a lot, you know, just being home in Tennessee. You know, I'm just I'm just glad to be home, glad to be here. And, uh, you know, it just feels like the place where I'm supposed to be. So it may not affect you directly, but D-Hop out for several weeks, how does that affect you? Um, I mean, it's a it's a big effect on our offense, you know, with one of our key players going down like that, you know, somebody that we rely on heavily. So, you know, we're just going to have to make adjustments. Luckily, we have enough, you know, playmakers all over the field to, you know, pick up the slack. So we should be good. It's fun because um, there's no, no limit on any of, especially the outside linebacker room. Um, and this defense, the defense goes as far as the outside linebackers take them. And this because we got, we do so much, some, some drop, we rush some. So we got a lot of little disguises that we could do as an outside linebacker that allows us to play free. Our nice see Coach Bloom bringing a, a lot of intensity there to your group. Uh, what's kind of the tone he sets for the way he wants you guys to play? Uh, the, 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 the energy he brings every day. Um, just in individuals, I mean, especially in about, since about two, three years, it's been my, one of the hardest individuals I've been a part of. Um, and it's just the energy he wants us, want want us to set the tone every day in practice, and that's what he do. What uh, coach has talked about how good Denard is in front of the room as a presenter. What makes him stand out when he's uh, talking to the defense? Uh, just him, just his aura, his whole aura, just him as a man. Um, he demands a lot from us. Um, um, yeah, he demands a lot from us. Um, everything that he talks about is something that we messed up the day before or during the day since this is a long day. Um, during the day in practice that we messed up, so he go in, talk about it, correct it, and then show us a correct way to do it, and then we come out and do it.
Uh, the latter, for sure. Um, like you said, uh, these these guys just bring so much wisdom, um, and just obviously we're all NFL players for some reason or another. I mean, we've got some sort of talent, so uh, just being able to build off that and build off the progress I've made in the last three years and have the wisdom of, of Bill um, has helped a lot, and we're just building on it. So. Yeah, you've been through a couple of padded practices, and kind of working through some things. How have you seen the offense as a whole? Uh, good. We had some rust to bang off uh, a few a few days ago, but I think uh, overall today was a really good day for the offense. Uh, I think we won that lockout period at the end. That's uh, two had practices in a row, so we just got to keep stacking days like that and keep building as an offense. It's not perfect right now, but uh, I think we're heading in the right direction.